Hey everyone, welcome back to Coach Talk, episode two. Have you ever been in a situation where you've had surgery and then found out that your insurance only scratches the surface of covering your physical therapy visits? And that's not even considering the co-payments. Now this is a scenario that's far too common, leaving you in a rut once those limited sessions are up. Now picture this, you're heading to a gym post-therapy. You're not looking for just any trainer, especially not the ones you find at your average LA Fitness or your local Lifetime Gym. You're in need of someone who can offer you their undivided attention. They might not be experts in rehabilitation, but their expertise lies in strength and conditioning, picking up right where your physical therapist left off. This is crucial, considering they need to understand what you've been working on before. And let's face it, it's easy to forget these details. Even if the therapist jots it down, this paper can easily get lost, and that's far from an efficient process. Now think about how many days it's been since your operation, or the milestones you've hit. Like your first day walking, or when you got out of that cast or immobilizing brace. These milestones matter. Then there's the doctor's visit. Doctors are swamped, right? They're on the clock from sunrise to sunset, following protocols because to them you're a number, a case study. Of course, you're a patient, but one among hundreds. But what about the doctor's analysis allows them to see a snapshot of your life, like your daily activities or your therapist protocol, what you did at the gym or the biometrics from your wearable. Remember, no two people are the same and neither should your quality of care. Healthcare is expensive, and with each person possibly seeing two to five different doctors or health professionals, how connected are they really? And how connected are you with the essential information about your health that matters most? This is personal for me. Recovering from three ACLs in college, I know this struggle intimately, and I know I'm not alone. With the gym on every corner, trainers and people who want to help within a 10-mile radius in most cities, how can they be the first link in your recovery chain? And this means the work you do with them will travel back to the doctor. That's where the hyperspeed system comes into play. By analyzing gym protocols, operating procedures, and the landscape of the healthcare industry, we're tackling these issues head on. It starts with identifying an individual's lifestyle and needs through an assessment, gathering their first layer of basic information and understanding an individual's strengths and weaknesses. While most gyms and health centers do have a protocol, they often lack a standard procedure and a strategy on what to do with this information, managing the data in a secure place, referencing it and using it as a foundation, which is all key before selling you anything or establishing a protocol. On the next Coach Talk, I'll be diving into the importance of physical assessments and how you can connect your wearable device to your gym, understanding not just the biometrics of an individual, but vital parts of any gym's onboarding process and how more gyms can take this approach to create the intersection between the healthcare and the fitness industry. We believe this will have a direct impact on public health and health equity, improving the quality of care and strength within the system. Join me next time as we continue to explore and revolutionize the intersection section of healthcare and fitness. To learn more about hyperspeed, check us out at hyperspeed-usa.com and take our risk assessment to receive a free consultation by clicking the link in the description.